Hey everybody, I'm Lee or Love Lee, whichever you want to call me, and thank you so much for being here on the channel. Now today I'm going to be showing y'all the unboxing for this mannequin stand. Excuse the mess on my floor, but as you can see, it comes right up to my chest, which is perfect height for me when I'm actually styling a wig or making a wig or whatever. And it actually gets taller, a lot taller. Uh, let's see where it stops. I think it stops about here, which is actually taller than me at this point. That's crazy. Who is even that tall? But whatever. It stops there, and how I know is it has these little holes where you can put the little lock in to lock it at the different heights. So that's how tall it is. Um, and you can see the stand. I just got my little bag on the bottom. It's not, it looks like a bag weight, but it's just the bag that it came in. You see how it's standing. You see the different grooves here to lock it up or whatever. But yeah, let's get to the unboxing so I can show y'all exactly how it came. <laughs> Okay, so like I told y'all, I got this off of Amazon and I was really nervous because the two parts, the two boxes came separate. So I got the canvas head first and I'm not gonna lie, I did take a peek in, but I got the canvas head first and I got so nervous because I'm like, oh my God, I got scammed. They only gave me the canvas head. But the when I went on Amazon and I checked the tracking, it actually did say that the other part was coming like a couple days later. It was, it was either one or two days later and it didn't take super long for me to come, for it to come. If y'all hear noise in my background, I apologize because this house be jumping like a disco. Okay, so obviously this was closed up, but I ripped that part open. And what was in here was obviously the canvas head. I have a pretty big head, a big forehead and big head in general. So I got the 23 inch canvas. Uh, some canvases, I feel like they mark on the head the inches, but... Uh, I mean, if you really need that, you could do it yourself. All you have to do is get like a measuring tape and wrap it around and mark it. But I won't need it because I know that I'm only pretty much going to be making wigs for myself. And then this came with it as well. So we're going to open up and see what's in here. Hold on, let me get the scissors. So technically, I mean, I guess I did really pay for this, but this wasn't something that was really advertised to come with the wig head if i'm not mistaken like this is just bonus stuff which we love bonuses so let's see what they gave us okay so hmm oh so maybe this was advertised to come i'm gonna have to see it well y'all see if y'all click the link in my bio you should be able to see if this came with it so it came with a wig cap this adjustable wig cap I never really use these, but maybe I'll try just in case, just because I got one for free. So yeah, this is the one that has like the straps on it so you can hook it in the back of your head. Then it came with these. Um, these are T-pins that you can stick in the canvas head and make your wigs or hold your wig down in your hair or whatever. And then it looks like it came with sewing needles yes so it came with two sewing needles here and here and then these are t-pins so girl you got your little set ready to go to make your wigs honey then on top of that it came with this which is the sewing thread you can't just use regular um thread when you're making wigs because the thread is not thick enough so it came with this thread which i usually buy i usually buy from the beauty supply so I'm happy they gave me that. It came with these clips so you can push the bangs out the way or get your hair out of your make out your face while you're doing your makeup, whatever. Then the last thing that came in here was this, which I've never used this before, but I've seen it, so I'm familiar with what it is. Somehow you can hook it to, let's say you have a desk or a bathroom sink that comes out like you can put your feet under it a little bit or it just comes over a little bit 
you can hook this let me try to show y'all example so let's say that this is your counter whatever counter you want to use some way somehow you can screw this on to the counter that way if you want to just put your wig head right on top of that thing from your counter you can do that like let's say you didn't have the tripod you could just hook it to your um counter or desk or whatever and put the wig head right on top i'll play with that later i'm not actually going to show y'all that but this ball part i'm sure goes in here and maybe this twisty part you know what i'll open it for y'all it is an unboxing after all okay so yeah you get this piece that piece and that piece i have to play with it because i don't see any instructions but i'm sure somehow this probably goes on this and then this ball goes on here so it comes with those three pieces and your wig comes right on top of there and you know all oh there's another one hmm or did that just fly over there oh i'm tripping y'all so yeah this probably goes in here and that goes in there and your wig goes on top of here all wig canvas heads or whatever should have this ball it's kind of like a universal thing but i've seen where some people buy uh tripods or whatever and they said that their wig doesn't sit snug on here so that's why i bought it together to make sure that it fits and you see right there's 23 inches but all canvas heads should have a hole in the bottom for you to put it on top of something whether it fits good or not all right so the next part is the actual tripod get that for y'all i peeked in here too so it came with in a bag which is good so when i want to fold it up and put it up somewhere it came a little bag that bag smell it just smells like i don't know box or something now you got to make sure because i was almost threw this box away well make sure you get this little second piece that's in there whoopsies this part was in a little plastic in the bottom of the box, which is what you put on top of the tripod and you put your head, canvas head on top. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out the box together. So it was in plastic. Something fluffy in there. Oh, just some more wrapping plastic for the wrap. Now, I feel like this is very kind of like heavy duty-ish. And I don't know, that could be because I'm used to holding my camera tripod. It's way, way, way more heavier than the camera tripod. At least the one that I have. So... Yeah, seems pretty heavy duty, heavy duty, pretty solid. And I'm just gonna spread it out. Okay. It doesn't seem wobbly or anything like that. Seems pretty good. There's this, which I know from my camera tripod, it's to make it higher. Oh, I see. So there's little holes. Can you see them? One right there. So it's like a belt to where you can stick this little guy in and tighten it and make sure that your tripod is in place. So the reason why they do that is because let's say you wanna sit in a chair, you want it to be about this low. But if you're standing up, you want it to be higher. Now, if you got inches, inches, and you really want to cut the bottom or work in the bottom, you can adjust it even higher so that your inches could be down there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Or curling it or coloring it, whatever. And this part. So this tightens this part. I'm guessing that this part tightens the bottom. Let me play with it and see. I figured it out. I know it's so simple, but I still had like a slow moment, I guess. 
So this tightens the legs so that the legs don't fold on you. And this tightens basically the height of the tripod. So now I'm going to stick the head on top, the canvas head, and the little attachment for the canvas head. And we're going to see if the canvas head actually sits on there snug. So there's a screw on this part. Why well, I feel like that TV got louder. So you screw this on. And it doesn't really feel like it's getting tight, but it feels like it's on there good. This is stiff, so you're gonna loosen this part. Adjust that how you want it. And it was important for me to get that too, because I realized when I'm using, um, when I'm doing wigs on these type of tripods, sometimes I want to lean in and work on the back, lean it to this way, work on the side. It's not a human, so it can't move on its own. So it's important that you get one of these that has good rotation. And then if you know you're just going to be working on the side for a while, you could just turn this, put it on that lock side and have it linked in there. And it ain't going to go anywhere. See, it doesn't move. All right, but I'm gonna pick it up, tighten it on the side. I'm sure if I keep going around with this part, it will get tighter, but I'm not gonna fool with that right now. Okay, put my scissors. Let's get our little canvas head out of here. What are we gonna call her? We need to give her name because she about to be dogged out. If I show y'all my other hat that I was working with, I was working with a styrofoam hat before, and the styrofoam hat was way, way, way smaller than my hat. So I had tried to put this tape to make it thicker, and it was just a mess. I ended up breaking the girl neck and all, so I'm glad I got it already the correct side. <sighs> okay, I don't know why I'm out of breath. So this is the hole that I told y'all about. Just gonna stick it on there. And she seems pretty snug. She ain't going nowhere. Unless I loosen this up. Ooh. And you see she moves. But it fits pretty perfect. I'm happy. I'm satisfied with this tripod for sure. Okay, so I grabbed my little other styrofoam hat so y'all can see. Y'all look at it, okay? This little choker that I put on her was because I snapped her neck because I was I didn't have a tripod at the time, so I would be holding her in my legs and trying to do the wig like that, and I popped the neck. So I gave her a little choker, and then I think I did it again, which is why it's so clean right there. I mean, I decided to put a little face on her. Why not? All this pink and stuff, though, was from the dye, and then this is how I tried to, like, tape the head around to make the styrofoam head bigger so that the wig would be more my head size instead of the styrofoam head size but i'm gonna tell you now it was really hard to get the t-pins through the um the tape and the styrofoam head so that was a pain like i was bending my t-pins and stuff it was kind of pain so if you could i would just try to go ahead and go with the canvas head to show y'all how easily the t-pins go into the canvas head so easy no pressure no bending and all that so well you guys that concludes this video of my mannequin head y'all see how it is y'all see how it came straight out the box i was so nervous buying this so I was like, let me show y'all how it came. So if anybody else needs it, they don't have to be nervous about spending their own money because I sure was nervous about mine. So yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the description box. So you just go on ahead and click that if they have more, then help yourself, I guess. If you found yourself having a good time, you wanna show some love and stay tuned for more videos, make sure, now make sure now you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on all my social media at x0lovely. That's x, the number zero, L-O-V-E-L-E-E. -E. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video.